Hey guys, it's Christy K. I'm back. I know it's been a while, but you know, life has been lifing, okay? Your girl's been busy. I've had so many things happening, but I do have some great things in the works that I can't wait to share with you guys. But anyway, I'm going to get to the reason why we are here. This is Ardell Brow Tint. Now, as you can see, it's opened. I used it already. I did like a shorts with it and I fell in love. Like for me, it's like the hack for if, like I have microblading, right? Start fading out. For me, no matter what, no matter how many times I do it, they numb me, the numb don't numb. I'll be sitting there crying. It'll be people next to me laying down sleep, just knocking it out. For whatever reason, I'm very sensitive. So this is a great hack for me. It does last for up to three weeks. It has 12 applications and it covers the grays. No, let me correct that. Two weeks, not three. So mine is faded out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. It comes with the conditioning developer the little thing so the little like bowl to mix it in the spoolie to apply it and then the powder scooper to scoop it out no I'm sorry this is to mix and then this is to scoop it out I'm gonna tell you how much I need like last time I used too much product I actually wasted product I don't have that many brows it's not that deep for me and I'm also going to use a brow brush with the spoolie just for more precise application for me I feel like that helped me out a lot last time let's get to mixing I'm gonna take I don't got a lot of brows I'm gonna try it with one scoop take the one scoop put it in there can't remember the exact mix so it's four parts developer so I'm only gonna put one scoop and more developer so one start mixing that up yep one is enough crazy thing is it's light like this you don't think it's gonna be as brown as it is brush your brows so I recommend if your brows are not done to have them done before you do this I will clean my brows up while I'm waiting on it processing because that's just me how do I let home go to process so 10 minutes so you're supposed to take the spoolie and apply it but I just feel like it's not as accurate I would rather paint it on like I'm painting on my brows so that's what I'm gonna do Let's take it apply it where it needs to go same thing on the other side I'm going to apply it like how I apply my regular brow products gonna take it and just lay it down and then I'm just gonna brush it now you see it stains so to clean up the mess take my little pointed q-tips clean it up wherever it doesn't belong And I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. So that is going, and while that's going, I'm just gonna clean up my brows. Cause I'm really in violation right now. I forget how bad this hurts, Jesus. My brow hair isn't even that thick. A little chunk of something right there. I'm gonna take that off. Oh my goodness, something got in my eye. I'm gonna let that do what it do and I'm gonna start working on the rest of my face. I'll be back. All right, we're here. Take a wet cloth. Wait, hold on. I got background music. False alarm. All right, so I am going to uh, take this and wipe it off. And as you can see, it's a really good stain. I would recommend this like right after getting your eyebrows done. I'm due for my eyebrows. Like it's so much easier for me to do them when my eyebrows are freshly done. I did wipe off a little bit of my foundation. So I'm gonna take my brush, put it back. And then 
I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and shape them so you can see what I'm working with. Like for real, for real. I might as well apply some on my lid because I'm gonna do that anyway, so it's all good. As you can see, I'm following the shape and boom, look at that brow. My brows don't ever look like that. Ever, ever, ever. And bam, do you see that? Look at these brows, look at this shape. I am gonna add a little powder to make them darker, but this right here is good for me because like during the week when I'm working, I don't wear makeup. So it's amazing for me to work up and have eyebrows and most important thing for me is that it is painless and takes 10 minutes and I can do it while I'm doing my makeup. I can do it while I'm doing everything else. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm back, but I decided to hold off um, doing the brows because I wanted you to see why. Like with no makeup and without a full face, cool. But like this, it's kind of lacking a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia brow powder and just fill them in. Make them a little more prominent. And I'm in LA right now. We are having a serious heat wave and I'm shining. So the powder is gonna cut the shine in my brow. You can see the difference, right? It is dumb hot right now, being under these lights. It's insane, literally insane. Okay guys, so this completes the look. I am a fan of this. I think I paid no more than $15. I'm gonna put the price there, I gotta check. Got it from Ulta, I couldn't find it in store. I think right now it's available online, but if it's available in store right now, I'll let you guys know below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you've been subscribed with me all these years, thank you. Your girl has been on here a while. It's just so hard to be consistent, but I am working on it. Um, and if you want to see more makeup tutorials and get like my current makeup routine and get some of my current favorites, make sure that you like this video and you comment. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.